when we approach preaching or we approach the church and the pulpit, and let's say you say, well, I'm not a pastor. How does this apply to me, Costi? I would say where you go to church and what you're sitting under, make sure you're not sitting under some TED Talk storyteller. And I'm not trying to be cheeky or rude or attack everyone as though the only people that are right are the expositors spending you know, two years on four words in one verse. Don't hear what I'm not saying. But listen, there's a lot of storytellers out there and it's real popular at seeker-driven churches. And when you say, hey, take me deeper. I want more truth. You know, give me the word. Don't just tell me stories. They'll often say, hey, Jesus spoke in parables. And that's why I just storytell. He was a storyteller. And, and they basically take one aspect and build an entire philosophy of preaching on it. That is a myopic narrative. Because it leaves out all the other instances where Jesus said direct things and where the New Testament Leaders did the same, where Jesus says things like, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, like in Matthew 4, or uh, like when he was very explicit about the nature of how we should live in the Sermon on the Mount. Paul says to Timothy in uh, 2 Timothy 4, the instructions for ministry doesn't say, hey, Timothy, tell stories. He says what? Preach the word. 